Good morning everyone. So if I look a little crazy it's because I forgot to put fake tanner on last night. Normally I like using a clear one and it gives you the most beautiful tan but I had to put on real fake tan on my face because I need it to develop really quickly so that's why I have all this. Anyways you probably can't tell on camera or you can and I look crazy but um, today is a great day. So my thermostat stopped working as you can see there's nothing here. Nothing here. I have to take it off and put it back on. Oh, and it still seems to not be, oh. Uh, and it's set to 28, are you crazy? When that's off, the air in my house doesn't work. So he came and he's gonna replace it because it's obviously broken. That's not exciting, but he did wake me up pretty early, which is actually a good thing because I can't wake up early on my own. Even with an alarm, I cannot wake up early. So he got me out of bed. He got me moving. He put some pep in my step. So I might ask him to come wake me up every day at 7. So I made my coffee and I was just chilling outside with Leonard. He's still outside. Hi, baby. Hi. I had, oh my gosh, are you the absolute cutest? Um, I went to go get his SPF because he needs to put some SPF on. You need to put some SPF on. I finally got my fence up and I need to fill in some areas because he like goes into the neighbor's yard. Well, you did one time. Thankfully, he's very obsessed with me. And if I call him, he comes back right away. Like he's not the kind of dog who's gonna try to run away. He's too scared. But we do need to put some SPF on. This is my favorite kind of SPF. It's an oil blend. And all I do is spray it on him. Well, Leo, it's also nice and cooling and very hydrating for him. I just don't want him to get burnt because of his alopecia. Come here, baby. My boyfriend and I are going to Chicago um, just for a few days. He wanted to check it out, go to a few restaurants and bars. And it's just like a fun little vacation. So we're going to Chicago. And then right when I get back, I get back like the 26th. I leave for Greece on July 2nd. So I have a few things, like a few last minute vacation orders for Chicago and for Greece that I wanna show you guys. I was about to try everything on and I was like, I might as well film it. I got some stuff in from Lulu's, which is very cute. That's more so for Greece, but I'll still show you anyways. Some very cute beach outfits. I did just film my um, carry on capsule summer wardrobe video. I might substitute some things out for some newer things I got, but I'll tell you guys like before I pack what I'm bringing and everything, of course. I hope you guys found that video helpful it took me so long to film and so long to edit but I think it was worth it also I got this new perfume in the mail it's Calazion Privada just bloom it smells so good I think it is my new favorite perfume like it is really there was a bug in my house it is really delectable okay so let's head upstairs mr. Leo is gonna relax he just ate breakfast I have my coffee I made my bed I'm feeling very productive this morning oh I also curled my hair I tried this heatless curling thing from Amazon yesterday I'm doing a whole video testing on Amazon viral hair products it was horrific like I do not recommend spoiler alert it was horrifying. It made my hair feel like straw. This is my bedroom. You guys know my bedroom. And then to the left of my bedroom, I have my closet, my filming closet. And then my spare bedroom over here, which was going to be a spare bedroom. But honestly, no one sleeps in my house. And if they do, they sleep in my bed. I think I'm just gonna set up the spare bedroom in the basement whenever I get that done because I'd rather have this space and use it. And I like having this blank wall because this does move to be able to film and stuff. This is all the stuff I got in from Lulu's. This, like I said, is more so for my summer vacation, but I thought I would show you guys anyways because this stuff is so freaking cute. I just want to say a quick thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Lulu's is a brand that I have loved for years, years and years. Some of my favorite sets, some of my favorite clothes are from Lulu's. Their quality of their clothes is, I want to say, a lot better than some of the other brands that are more affordable on the market. So that's kind of like the whole idea behind the brand, providing luxurious, amazing quality clothes that isn't going to break the bank. And you guys know I love that. I love a good deal. They really do have the cutest stuff. And like I said, the quality is really good. It's not like a cheap material. It's not cheaply made. Like you really feel like you're getting your money's worth. I order from them all the time. So I'm gonna try these things on for you guys. I don't know what I wanna try on first. Maybe the bikini. They've got this like really cute bikini set. So 
Let's try that on. So the set has a top, which has a really cute tortoiseshell ring, bottoms, and a matching sarong. Three-piece sets were really in last year, and I don't see them going anywhere because they're just so cute. I love a matching set. This is the whole little bikini set. I have the bottoms underneath. I love that the sarong has a button and a tie closure. It just feels better than just a regular sarong that you tie. This top you can obviously tie a million different ways. I'm just boring and like it tied the regular way best. I wish all sarongs were made like this. It does go a little bit longer. I have it rolled. But yeah, obsessed. I love a three-piece bikini set. This I got a crazy mosquito bite. Let's not mind that. Um, I normally don't like triangle bikinis, but I think because this one is longer, it's more flattering. Now I picked up two pairs of linen pants for the beach. I couldn't decide which ones I like better, so let's try them both and see which ones I prefer. These are the first pair. I am obsessed with them. I'm obviously going to have to get them shortened a little bit because I'm only five foot one, and these are a little bit longer, which is a good thing. These have a slit on the side. It's a really nice creamy linen color. The slit on the side I find just makes it so beachy and so flowy. It kind of looks like you're wearing a skirt. These are definitely coming with me to Greece. These are amazing to throw on if you're at the beach or the pool and you want to go grab a quick lunch. These are going to be hard to beat. Let's try on the next pair. Okay, and just as fast as I said that, I take that statement back. I feel like these beat them. However, they're very different. So these are definitely a thicker material. I feel like if you're going somewhere very hot, I would recommend the other pair. But these just look so pretty. I don't know if I would even shorten these, maybe just by an inch. I do like this look where they're kind of dragging on the ground, especially if you wear like a platform pair of slides. That would look really cute. And it does have a matching top. It is a little bit see-through, so I would definitely say it's more appropriate for the beach. I wouldn't wear this to like a nice fancy dinner. But tell me this isn't perfect for Greece. Okay, why don't we stick to the theme of white linen and try on this stunning white dress. I love this so much, I almost cried. I don't care if this takes up half of my carry-on, this dress is coming with me to Greece. It is perfect because it is dressy enough where you can wear it to a really nice dinner, but it's also casual enough where you can throw it on with a pair of slides and you know wear it during the day. It's also really lightweight and airy. It is double lined, so just throw on a pair of nipple stickers and you're good to go, and obviously some like beige undies. But wow, I love the cutouts. I did get a size small in this, and it fits perfectly. The back also has a really cute bow detail. I feel like if you're getting married, this would be a really cute dress. Not obviously for your wedding day, but if you have some like beach, I don't know. Maybe if you just got married and you're going on your honeymoon, and this is the perfect dress for you. Okay, everyone, run, don't walk. You need this dress in your life. I have to say, this haul is going spectacular. There's not one thing I don't like. Next, okay, sticking with the grease theme, I've been loving baby blue. I want to try this blue and white striped dress. Guys, I may have to rethink everything I'm bringing to Greece. Like, the stuff is so good. I'm so sad. It doesn't fit. It is a little bit too small on me. It doesn't, like, the top part is okay, but the bottom part is a little bit too small. So I definitely would need the size up. I think I got a size extra small in this. I'm not too sure. It's so pretty and perfect for a Greek holiday. I'm so sad. Okay, I'm not sad anymore because this is the cutest set in the world. It has a little flowy skirt that you can tie at the waist and then a matching little bondo bra top. The skirt is a little bit short, just keep that in mind, but this would be perfect for the beach. It would be perfect for a lunch. You can even wear this top with like a cute pair of high-waisted shorts or jeans, and you can wear the skirt with like a white bodysuit tucked in. Okay, now this is also a really cute dress, a brown knit material. So what I like about this dress, I actually had one like this in the past. I believe it was from Nudie Patootie. It was very sheer, so I couldn't really wear it because I couldn't wear it with a bikini, and then if I wore it without a bikini, I couldn't really wear it with a bra either, and then if I wore it without that, my nipple would be on display. So this is a nice, thick material. It is very flattering. Because it's a little bit thicker, it kind of sits and smooths out everything, and then you don't have to worry about your nipple showing through. Cutouts were huge last year, and I don't see them going anywhere this year. Wow, wow, wow. This little set is so stunning. The only thing is that this part's a little bit 
too small on me so it kind of digs into my belly I probably should have sized up in the skirt but I love this matching set it is so flattering I love the slit in the leg and this top it's very light and breathable perfect for a summer vacation I also got this bathing suit it's a one-piece bathing suit the color's a little bit wild but I do like the fit of it and the material Okay, and lastly, I got this little knit tank top. I like it because it has holes here, but thankfully on the boob area, there's no holes. I just paired it with some denim shorts, and then I actually also ordered these from Lulu. They're just like espadrille little slides, which are perfect for the summertime. We're in downtown with time to spare, and we're wearing matching we're wearing outfits. The same outfit. <laughs> just different colors. Um, so now we're walking to Ellen Jane. This way. Oh. Oh, it's right there. We got such a good parking spot. Oh, the, there's not a crazy amount of traffic uh, construction on this. There's just no parking. Oh, I see. Ellen Jane, there it is. So this is the strawberry rhubarb mask, really just overall good for hydration. Your color. I really am just a sucker for packaging. I don't know if this works well, but I want to buy the whole line because it's so cute. Okay, got a lash lift. How does it look like packaging? It looks amazing. I got a lash lift and a lash tint. So we got a matcha, and this is the lemonade. Try the matcha. <laughs> Like grass. Like matcha always gives like grass. And this is the hibiscus lemonade. No, rhubarb. Oh, did I keep saying hibiscus? <laughs> the rhubarb lemonade. Okay. Mm. That was fun. It just tastes like a summer's day. It tastes like there should be a shot of matcha. Oh my god, this looks so good. This is the halloumi toast. And this is the deluxe breakfast sandwich. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat. So we just finished eating and now we're walking to Atwater Market, which is a fun little market in Montreal. Oh, it was so cute. We were eating lunch and this man came up to us and asked if I was Tony and then asked if I could FaceTime his wife and it was the cutest thing. And their baby. Ever. And their baby. Oh my God, their baby was so cute. Um, and now we're going to go walk through the market. They have a good ice cream place. I say we walk through the market a little, they get ice cream. Yeah. This is like my dream. I love this. Different hummus. I should have got a basket. everyone so I didn't vlog the rest of the day yesterday I literally we got we went for lunch then we walked around got some ice cream as you guys saw I came home and I was exhausted I was exhausted there was like this rave concert thing going on last night that absolutely everyone was at in Montreal and I just was so happy on my couch I was watching everyone's stories and I was like I would rather take a bath in boiling hot oil than be at this like rave field thing. And you know what's crazy? Even though I really did not want to be there, like I really did not want to be there, seeing everyone on Instagram there having a good time, I was like, wow, I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I'm missing out. Knowing that if I was there, I would hate my life. I was like, I'm missing out. And then I was like, no, okay? I'd much rather be on my couch with my dog, relaxing than in a park jumping around and in the past i probably would have gone just because it's where everyone was going what everyone was doing and i don't want and i didn't want to be that person alone on a saturday night at home 
but I was so much happier. I started the show The Wilds. I think it's on Amazon Prime. I think it's an Amazon Prime original and it was so good. I only watched around two episodes before I passed up, but if you're looking for a new show, that one is so good. Then I woke up today. I actually slept on my couch the whole night because I woke up at four in the morning and I was like, I just don't feel like going upstairs, getting into bed. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep on the couch. So I had a great sleep on my couch. That article couch is so comfortable. I'm obsessed with how my eyelashes look. I have to get used to them. They're definitely really curled right now, but obviously it's only day two or day one. I just did my skincare this morning and I feel like I look a little bit more put together with these tinted eyelashes. But I think tinting your eyelashes is just a game changer. Anyways, this morning, my sister, her boyfriend, and their dog Stella came over to go on a walk with Leonard, so we just got back from that. I made her my orange Julius drink, which is so good. I blended mine. Literally just orange juice, coconut milk, monk fruit sweetener, and vanilla, and it is so so delicious, so refreshing. So I have this leftover salad I think I'm gonna eat. And then yesterday we went to Atwater Market and I got some fun stuff. I got Kopanisti, which is a Greek feta pepper spread. And then in my fridge here, I also got these hearts of marinated hearts of palm, marinated artichokes, some olives, and then I got these cheeses. Um, I got a strong Gouda because my boyfriend loves Gouda. I got a smoked cheddar. Smoked cheese is my absolute favorite. And then I got this truffle Gouda, which is, it was really expensive. It was really expensive. But cheese is one of the things I really don't feel guilty splurging on because I love cheese. Oh, I also got this spicy chai. I'm trying to think, did I get anything else? Okay, I got these blue cheese chips. I'm a huge fan of blue cheese. And then I got these goat cheese and honey flavored. You know what, I kinda wanna try these. Oh, they smell good. This is what they look like. They smell so good. Mmm. If I'm just being honest, they don't have that much flavor. I'm gonna go eat lunch. And then I have to fix my nail. The only nail that broke is the nail that didn't have a tip on it. So I'm gonna add a tip on it and fix it up because if there's one thing I hate in life, if there is one thing I hate in life, it's having chipped and broken nails. That's why I love doing my nails at home because if one breaks, if one chips, I can quickly fix it. I love this nail blush. I'm so into color recently. For lunch today, we're making Hailey Bieber's viral pizza toast, but we're putting a little of our own spin on it because she puts the sauce on top of the cheese and I just feel like it needs to go under, but do whatever you want. So we have some sourdough toast, um, toasted in a pan with butter, truffle oil, and we just took that off, put on some rayo sauce, and we're going to spread this burrata. That's a lot of burrata, huh? That looks so good. <laughs> I love burrata. I'm gonna put the tomatoes on it in the oven. So we'll put the tomatoes. These are marinated in truffle salt, olive oil. So I'm just gonna pop it in my air fryer. Popping that in. Bake. And then I'm gonna watch it cook. And I do have only one eyelash <laughs> on. Potatoes are slipping, so I'm just rearranging them. You just get a little crispier. Mmm, you're gonna love it. You can add a little truffle salt to the top, some red pepper flakes, a little oregano. And she doesn't call for it, but I do think it would she be- She calls for more truffle oil. I know, but I do think it would be good with a little bit basil on top. You know, a drizzle of truffle oil. That looks absolutely delectable. Okay, so I had a runner in my kitchen, but it got so dirty, so I decided to get a ruggable because if you guys don't know, Ruggables are machine washable. This is not sponsored. They did send it to me, but this is not sponsored. But I thought I would show you guys the new runner because I was dropping food on it. It was getting so dirty just with all the traffic in the kitchen. So I wanted one that I could easily clean, throw it in the washing machine if anything spills on it. Um, so yeah, let's open it. My Ruggable at the front is my favorite thing ever because if I walk in with like mud on my shoes, it's literally so easy to clean. So I got the Cameron seven foot runner in the color hazel. Oh my God, another thing I loved about the, the Ruggables is that they're non-slip. Okay. I 
love all the warm tones in it. It's so okay, pretty. So I'm sitting here editing. I'm going to finish up the video and um, I just wanted to give you an update on the eyelashes and give you my full thoughts and opinions because I love them and I want to give you my like final thoughts on them because it's been a few, actually been a few weeks since I actually got them done. So I thought I would give you an update in case you were wondering. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with the eyelash lift and tint. I think because they're so dark that if they're a little wonky, you can tell. This eye was absolutely perfect. I think because this eye, the eyelashes are a little bit shorter. They were a little bit more curled and a little crazier looking so i would definitely do it again i definitely like how it looks it has cut down the time to get ready so much simply because i don't have to put mascara on i literally have maybe been putting a small coat of mascara when i'm going out at night but other than that i haven't really been putting mascara when i have eyeliner on and everything it looks like i'm wearing mascara and overall i just feel more put together when i don't have any makeup on i feel more like lively nikki also just got it done and she had a little bit of eye irritation like her her eye was very red for two days but apparently that's normal so i wouldn't not get it done because of that she just said there was no pain or anything but her eye was a little irritated i didn't have any of that the corner of this eye though is just a little wonky looking you know i'm looking at my window and i can see and i can hear that all of my neighbors okay so basically i live in a little newly developed area like neighborhood and it's very desperate housewivesy like everyone is friends everyone says hi to each other when they like leave the house which i i guess like it's that's like what you do when you see people right but i never had that the area i grew up in was very stuck up and like a little bit snobby like the people around so if you saw your neighbors like you did not say hi you just acted like you didn't see them and i just like grew up thinking that was normal and i much prefer like this very sweet neighborhood where i know basically all my neighbors and i say hi anyways all of my neighbors are kind of like families i'm the only person who's not doesn't have two toddlers running around there's this whole group they're just like this whole group. They formed this coalition and they're sitting in my neighbor's backyard around a fire pit and I wasn't invited <laughs> to this fire pit. And I can hear them talking and having a good time and I just don't know. And sometimes I'll like come out and they'll be like in front of one of the neighbor's house like drink, having a few drinks and I get it. Not that I would go, but I'm like, why am I not invited? Is because I don't have a husband? because I don't have a husband. And that's another thing that I've noticed now is anyone who comes to my house, specifically like the men that come to my house to do like work on my house, they always ask if I've spoken to my husband about the decision that I've made. And I don't want them to know I live alone. So I always say like, yeah, my husband's like told me to pick whatever. Anyways, I'm not even gonna get on that whole rant. I just find it funny. And I wanna know if you're a woman who lives alone and you like own a house or rent a house or rent a condo or own a condo, do you also experience that? Like where people are asking for permission? I don't know. I think it's mostly, I have to say, like the older French men that just assume that I have a husband. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the time you're seeing this, I'm probably in Chicago. I'm leaving in two days and I decided to pack. I packed a little bit. I'm gonna finish up tomorrow. That knit dress from Lulu's cause it's like the perfect dress for a nice little dinner and maybe some dancing. Um, I'm gonna go. I have to finish up packing because tomorrow I have to go to the office. So I have to finish up packing and i'm so excited to bring all my new stuff with me from lulu's to greece so thank you once again lulu's for um partnering with me on this video i will leave all of the clothes i picked up from them listed down below um i will also leave all the details about where i got my facial which by the way my skin has been glowing besides these breakouts my skin has been looking fabulous i think that microdermabrasion really did me good honestly also i'll probably be like in chicago or back from Chicago by the time you see this. But leave recommendations for me in Chicago because if I have a good time, I'll definitely be back and maybe, hopefully, I meet a few of you guys while I'm there. Okay, I love you and I'll see you in my next video.